guys, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be painting on my mother-in-law's coffee machine since it is old and uh, could use some spicing up. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. So first off, what I decided that I wanted to paint on this coffee machine was a bunch of citrus fruit. Lately I've been watching a lot of TikTok videos, um, just art compilations, and it kind of, like, seeing them kind of really inspired me because I love watching people paint on things. I find it very relaxing and I loved all the little like highlights all over the fruit so I decided that's what I wanted to paint on this machine. So walking you through my process um, a little bit, first what I did was I kind of just blocked in all the flat colors of all the fruits. So it looked like I had a bunch of ugly circles all over the coffee machine. I feel like for me my art does tend to go through quite a few ugly stages. Um, especially when I'm painting, I just kind of blob on colors. I don't really know what I'm doing or what my plan is. Oftentimes, first, I just kind of go off of my reference photo, and that's what I was trying to do here. But I do like to lay down kind of all the base colors that I'm going to use for all of the different individual aspects of whatever I'm painting first. So then I just painted those base circles all over the other side of the machine and I started on my first more detailed fruit and this one is supposed to be a grapefruit. It came out looking a lot more pink than I thought they kind of would. Um, grapefruits are normally more orange toned but I um, like a pinker grapefruit, I suppose. I am not going to apologize for that. I like pink grapefruits, so I painted one. That's my opinion now, and I'm going to stick with it. At this point I have um, painted most of all of the fruits with um, the white part, which is called the pith of um, 
uh, your citrus fruit, whatever, grapefruit, orange, um, lemon. But I was really excited because I felt like everything was starting to come together and after I finished all that I could start adding in all the little details like I'm doing here. And this was my favorite part of the whole painting after I layered in uh, those like dark tones to each of the section I can kind of go in with um, like a lighter color and add in each tiny little uh, groove of the fruit. This part was very satisfying to just uh, glob it on, so enjoy some globbage here. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit awkward. I have never recorded a voiceover of any kind before, so um, yeah. I noticed that my cat Belle had come to visit me. She was hiding behind that coffee machine and she is not as sneaky as she thinks she is. But she is so adorable and I love her so much. And now she's gone again. Back to the painting. was my favorite part was adding in all these little shiny bits uh, it really made everything pop and just come alive and I was super happy with it and so I just added those all over the whole uh, everything and here is the final result 